Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Hey man, Anthony Joshua is getting in the mix on all this Dylan Danis, Logan Paul, and Logan Paul's fiance, Nina Agdal, that whole feud and all the nonsense that's going on. You know, Anthony Joshua is chiming in, and I'm surprised that uh, Anthony Joshua would even mention anything, whether he agrees or disagrees with it, because I know with me, that situation is stink. And like, and like they say, plenty ish starts to stink real bad. And everything about this Nina girl, Dylan, Logan, lawsuits, defamation of character, the back and forth, it's just a real foul situation. Quite entertaining, but it's just at a point to where if it was me, I wouldn't say anything. But AJ's gone on and he's uh, he's defended uh, the guy Dylan uh, Dennis and how he's been attacking uh, Logan Paul's fiance. Now, in case you're wondering what what exactly is all this about, this guy Logan Paul's going to be taking on Dylan Dennis. They're supposed to be fighting. Matter of fact, next on the 14th of October, so the following week. Um, they're going to be fighting in, uh, in in the UK. And I'm telling you right now, you know, I just think uh, that those controversial antics being used by both sides, I just think it's got to a point to where it's, it's, it's not controllable. Now you got restraining orders being filed, guys threatening to pull out the fight, um, guys threatening to, to, to sue as well, guys talking about each other's parents. I mean, it's just a bunch of craziness. But... Dylan Dana seems to be in the worst position because, one, he got hit with a restraining order, he got hit with a lawsuit, and he agreed to fight Logan Paul where he takes a flat fee and Logan Paul gets, um, uh, he benefits from the proceeds from pay-per-view sales, which I just think was absolutely stupid, but it is what it is. Uh, he, he's still making good money, but nothing like what I think this fight is going to do uh, numbers-wise. Especially seeing that Dylan Danis has, I mean, everybody's talking about this craziness. Everybody. That's why I'm talking about it right now. It's people who don't even follow boxing. People who don't even follow sports. It's, this social media stuff is a, is a trip, man. It touches so many people all around the world, all ages, all professions. So I think, that, I think they're going to do very good numbers pay-per-view-wise. And Dylan Danis is starting to realize that because he feels like he's carried the fight. But some are still criticizing him and saying, hey, man, you know, all right. One, you shouldn't have really attacked the girl, but, okay, job well done. You, you, you've made your point. Um, but, hey, when it comes to AJ, they, they came to him. He said, look, you just got to be real in this game of boxing. There's no rules. You know what I'm saying? The Internet's undefeated. Uh, all your information is out there. At the end of the day, which is true, and that's where Dylan claimed he found most of his information on Logan Paul's fiance, who was a model. And uh, she put a lot of crazy stuff out there. So, uh, you know, I'm just being real. Like, some of that stuff she put out there is, to me, is crazy. But they're young. You know what I mean? When I was young, trust me, I'm so glad this internet crap wasn't around when I was young. <laughs> I wouldn't be here right now. But at the end of the day, man, those are tactics, dirty blows, low blows uh, that are being used. And when it comes to the art of war, there's just a lot of stuff that's uh, acceptable. But we're, we're going to see what happens, man. Um, because I'm, I'm very interested to find out. But about that um, that fight card, the fight card's pretty interesting. Even KSI is fighting on there, you know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of guys fighting on there. This is probably one of the best fight cards. Forget the misfits of boxing, uh, uh, these, these, these in social media influencers and all that. I'm just talking about fighting, period, from the MMA world to boxing to this crap. Let me tell you something. This fight card... Is really, really good. Uh, so I'm definitely tuning in. I'm, I'm not saying it's better than boxing, but I'm telling you is, for what you get on some of this boxing and some of these fights, where, you know, it's like, if you get frustrated, these guys over here, with this social media influence, influences, this crazy shit they got going on in Misfits Boxing, they really in the, like Ludacris said, throwing those balls. They really in the letting the hands go. But that being said, man, uh, Anthony Joshua, I think he needs to be careful chiming in on this stuff. Me personally, I wouldn't have anything to say. But this this stuff with this guy Dylan, this girl, her past, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, whatever else is going on with him. I just think that whole situation has become very toxic. And it's, I just think it's not going to end well for any of them. Just move beyond it, leave it alone. 
you don't want to keep lawsuit after lawsuit, things lingering on. It's more stuff will get exposed. And if Logan Paul had any sense, I would just be like, leave it alone. That's what I would do. But hey, they do what they want, right? That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans all seven continents. Somebody would tell Anthony Joshua to stay out of this crap. I'm in the breeze.